Coming up on episode 5 of 20 Gaming News, local use small town in Northern Cape Province, South Africa to get $1 billion solar panel plant. DSTV bans news channel Russia Today in Africa. In international news, Apple releasing VR headset. Snoop Dogg announces Death Row Records as the first major record label in the metaverse. Headline news. Deputy Prime Minister of Ukraine, Mikhailo Fedorov, asks gaming companies to ban Russia. Stay tuned. Hey Ta, how's it my ninjas? Welcome to episode 5 of 20 Gaming News, the only bi-weekly podcast in Africa dedicated to tech and gaming news. I'm your host, the Tiny Gamer, recording from Pretoria, South Africa, sunny capital city. Today's news ranges from solar farms in small towns nobody cares about, to gamers being dragged into the Russia-Ukraine war. But why? How? What the fuck does that war have to do with us? Well, listen until the end to find out. Let's go! In local news, Norwegian solar power producer Skatec has partnered with South African clean energy company H1 Holdings to provide electricity to South Africa's grid for 20 years at a cost of 15 billion rand, which is approximately 1 billion dollars. Once the final stages of the project are approved, electricity will be supplied by around 1 million solar panels set up on a solar farm in the small town of Kenhart, Northern Cape province at 1 rand 88 cents or 12 US cents per kilowatt. According to the City Press newspaper. Once it is complete, the solar farm will be one of the largest in the world. The Skatec solar panels are also said to be able to provide electricity even during extended periods of cloudy weather. South African broadcasting giant MultiChoice, which broadcasts to several sub-Saharan countries via DSTV, has pulled news channel Russia Today from its services. In a press statement released last Wednesday, MultiChoice said, quote, MultiChoice has confirmed that as of today, 2 March 2022, Russia Today channel 407 shall not be carried on the DSTV platform until further notice. Sanctions imposed on Russia by the Global European Union has led to the global distributor of the channel ceasing to provide the broadcast feed to all suppliers, including multi-choice, end quote. South Africa's ruling party, ANC, has slammed the decision, calling it draconian and influencing viewers' decision to freedom of choice. International news coming up after this short advert from Spider Media. Are you a social media influencer, event planner, or agency who needs professional filming and photography done in South Africa but at a shoestring budget? Look no further than Spider Media, a social media production company based in Pretoria, which was founded by me in 2021 after working more than 10 years in South Africa's cutthroat media landscape. For only 3,998 Rand or 298 USDs, my spiders can film and photograph at your social media shoot or social events for 3 hours and deliver the content to you within 72 hours or 10% money back guaranteed. Don't become a victim of these chance takers calling themselves photographers and videographers just cause they have fancy cameras. Trust me, I've seen how they rip off good people like you. Please use the links provided in the details or descriptions of this podcast to visit my website Spider media.web.za that is spider spelled s-p-y-d-r to hire one of my professional spiders for reliable cheap media content fast in international news apple's first ar vr headset will enter mass production between august september this year and cost around three thousand dollars or forty thousand rand approximately according to a report by digitimes.com however a conflicting report from bloomberg.com says that overheating issues discovered during testing will delay production to 2023 either way good news is that apple will have two ar vr glasses the three thousand dollar versions for high-end professionals and the much cheaper apple glasses for the entry-level consumer the dog father of rap Snoop Dogg revealed that he'd purchased Death Row Records from Blackstone, one of the world's biggest investment companies, to make it the world's first NFT record label in the metaverse. Death Row Records was founded by Dr. Dre, producer and former member of the rap group Niggas With An Attitude and Marion Shug Knight in the 1990s. The label stars were the late Tupac and Snoop Dogg. Dre and Snoop Dogg reunited for a performance at the 2022 Super Bowl, where Snoop made the announcement on podcasting app Clubhouse. Here is a soundbite of the announcement. Death Row 
will be an NFT. Like we will be putting our artists through the metaverse and through a whole other chain of music. Just like we broke the uh, the industry when we was the first independent to be major. I want to be the first major in the metaverse. So Death Row will be an NFT label. And finally, our headline news. On 2 March 2022, Deputy Prime Minister of Ukraine, Mikhailo Fedorov, tweeted to Microsoft and PlayStation to temporarily ban its services in Russia and Belarus. A day after the tweet, CD Projekt Red, the development company behind Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077, responded by halting all sales of their games in Russia and Belarus. On the same day, EA Sports removed the Russian national team and all Russian clubs from FIFA 22. The same week, Microsoft President Brad Smith said Microsoft would suspend all new sales and services of their products in Russia. Multiple esports tournaments have also banned Russian-based teams from participating. Fedorov believes involving gamers in this war will, quote, motivate the citizens of Russia to proactively stop the disgraceful military aggression, end quote. And that, my ninjas, concludes episode 5 of 20 Gaming News. Do you think banning Russia today on DSTV is an attack on press freedom? Will record labels in the metaverse become profitable? Now that esports players and most gaming services in Russia are banned, will that motivate Russian gamers to protest against the war? Or will it just piss them off and make them join the military? Nuke the comments with your opinions. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to follow 20 Gaming on social media. It's where we will be announcing our first esports tournament very soon. Until episode 6 coming out on the last week of March, it's never game over.